there's always been a story of uh, a ghost called the captain. I've never seen it myself, but it's one particular day, I happened to catch it on the security cameras. Basically, we were, we were out for the day, came back, and noticed the back door open, going to the beer garden. And I couldn't understand why the alarms hadn't tripped. So it was reviewed on the security cameras, and there's um, what appeared like a, an intense source of energy in the middle of the room, which manifested itself into a shape. This door judders when you put it on. On the video, it just opens like that. What did you actually feel when you saw this figure? Well, I didn't think anything of it at first. Uh, having looked at it a few times, uh, it was worth uh, looking into a bit further. So, what, you did some research on the subject, what did you actually find out? Well, there's uh, lots of stories, uh, which is very popular in, for many years, about the old sea captain supposed to have uh, haunted the place, or he was here for his last drink, before he went to sea, or things like that. Yeah. So you're naturally assuming it was linked to that. And did this, did this captain actually have a name? Well, we don't have a name, but... Uh, the name chosen is Captain Thomas. We, we're, not, we're not far from the Neath Port, what used to be the Neath Port. So it's quite po it's plausible and uh, it is frequented by uh, seagoing people here. Yeah? Um, there's a grain of truth in the overall story, but to actually why here? I mean, this is an old building, why not here, yeah? It's a logical place they would have come. How old is this building itself? Well, it was originally uh, built in um, 1617 and then rebuilt in uh, 1910. You, you don't mind living here with a few ghosts? Not at all, no spirits there. <laughs> Everybody asks you, oh, do you, what's it like living in a haunted place? I said, well, yeah, I, don't, I live here, I don't notice things, yeah? You know, we'd be there late in the night and it's all dark. And to go to the toilet, when it's completely dark, it's intimidating. It's, it's the coldest part of the building. Everybody complains about how cold it is in winter to go to piss. Sometimes it's very oppressive going to the toilet. And a lot of people would not go to the toilet on their own. They kept whatever happened, reason why, to themselves. Um, that is uh, the most active area, which is the oldest part of, of the building. It's, um, everybody has their own story, of, uh, they have their experiences all down there, you know. Ooh, uh, I'm afraid uh, it's like one of the guys got smacked by the captain. Quite, e quite easily could have fell and not admit to it, yeah? So he blames the captain. If you can't explain it, you blame the captain, yeah? It's like the same story as... Uh, if you don't know what's what in the streets or the Knights nice Templars, yeah. Um, Tony was Tony's previously mentioned about some of some of his punters or some of the guys that work here that won't go into the back room or won't go into certain areas. Certain areas, areas um, in the pub, which uh, particularly some of the band members won't go into, um, especially the toilets, I find it very uh, uncomfortable. Why is that? Well, obviously there's some form of presence, there, I suppose. Thought nothing of it basically, and my mate said, Oh, I for my mate up now, he's uh, in the papers and uh, he'd write an article for it. It was advertising basically, you know. And he, he, from there, it got picked up by, by TV people. And once it was shown on one channel, everybody in the fucking planet went to see it, you know? Well, it's unheard of. I was probably one of the first to have 
an apparition on tape. Well, still an unexplained phenomena. When you actually see the, the video, then yeah. you can derive your own conclusion. I found it uh, bizarre because why the alarms didn't go off. Whereas they should have gone off. That's um, the mystery to me, like. Right? Um, in saying that, it is underneath fault is it does create electromagnetic energy. So all these charged particles, which you can't see because they're always a crop, under the right conditions, you know, you get to see phenomena. <clears throat> Oh, yeah? Hmm? yeah. That must be the letterbox, is it? Must be the camping. Ah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Feel the storm. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. I mean, effectively, if you can find something which nobody's been able to sort of pick up on before, it is a phenomenon, you know? But it's like UFOs. Are they there? Do you know they're there? You'd like to th you, know, you, you speculate, you have your own opinion, and you evaluate with the information you're given to what you see. Somebody can see things, but it's not actually really there, you know? You know, you... Um, People do hallucinate. If they believe it enough, they've seen it. If they believe they've seen something, that's the way it comes across. <clears throat> but, you know, like 90% of history is all bollocks. It's only what somebody said, and they've taken it as literal, and everybody's follow, followed up on that bollocks and made it even more literal. <laughs> yeah? It just escalates, huh? But on one of the tapes, I think it's the HTV one, right? And I, ca I came up with a line, right? And everybody used to take the piss for years after it. I had to describe to uh, the interviewer at the time, right, what actually happened. I said, well, it's not, an apparition came through the, through the floor. Probably of nautical nature. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, it was funny. Now, uh, the first cut uh, run they done on HTV, right? Yeah. was in the afternoon. And Alan Rudstadt, I think, was the presenter. Hmm. And he said, no, we're uh, you now about to see uh, an apparition caught on camera at the Duke of Wellington in Neath, blah, 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 blah. 
and um, known as the captain, and with that, in fact, one of the customers just walked through fucking... <laughs> <laughs> fucking laughing right here and in the evening and he corrected the video and he put the the proper one in yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're doing a live tv right and they said oh this is uh where initial apparition said oh can we have a look in the cellar yeah sure i said they trotted downstairs and he set up his cameras and we heard it sell blah 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 right? so i said ah uh, knock the lights off Lock the door like a <laughs> squeeding like pigs over there. <laughs> oh, this is on live TV in the afternoon, right? Oh, this is live. Like. Obviously, they didn't see me locking the cellar door and putting the light off. But all, as they were going live, obviously, they were recording and uh, transmitting from downstairs. And uh, it was uh, funny. <laughs>